Right, got Peak Splendor, got Blazer Torch. Peachtools.com. Hello, my friends. How are we going today? Another beautiful day on my side of the planet. Hey, isn't it great to be alive? Hey, I wouldn't be dead for a million bucks today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. We're heading into summer. It looks like we're going to have a really, really nice summer. All that bad winter weather's gone. So Pete's really into it. Yeah. Hey, guys, if you don't watch out, you might see me in my bloody togs down the beach swimming shortly. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that, guys. So, guys, what's the old get going on about today? Well, a couple of people have emailed me, believe it or not, and they asked me, they say, hey, Pete, can you cut your finger off with a plasma cutter? Like with the grinder, you know how you're grinding and you slip, and, you know, like me, sometimes I don't wear gloves, and then the bloody grinding wheel runs over your finger. I mean, if you held it on there for long enough, you'd cut your finger off, but, I mean, who's going to be stupid enough to do that, right? So today, guys, that's what the video's about. Can Pete cut his finger off with a plasma cutter? What do you reckon? yee Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and let's get into it, eh? So, my friends, if we kick the old plasma cutter on the guts, let's see what happens when we try and amputate a finger. <laughs> so, my friends, I'm using the Best Arc 7th Generation machine. It's probably one of my favourite machines at the moment, if you don't already know. Uh, this machine here is a Pilot Arc, and if you don't know what Pilot Arc is, if you haven't been watching my channel, guys, if you don't know what Pilot Arc is, Pilot Arc is when you pull the trigger, you get a flame coming out before you actually have to touch your steel. So in other words, it's like a um, an oxyacetylene torch. You pull the trigger, flame comes out, machine starts up, and you start cutting. Right, so let's get into it, eh? Right, got Pete Splinger, got the plasma torch. <laughs> Do you think I was gonna cut my finger off? <laughs> Not a chance in hell, guys. Not even for you guys, eh? I've got a, a finger equivalent here, guys. There's my finger equivalent. Now, what do you think is going to happen to this, my friends? Now, no one's going to hold their finger there. Once you feel the heat coming through your finger, you're not going to try and cut it off, are you? But I just want to show you what happens, guys. What we got here, guys? Look at that. Oh, hoo! Look what it'll do to your finger, my friends. Look what it'll do to your finger. It's actually melting the flesh and all the, the fat and everything else. No one's going to hold their finger under a flame for that long, but I've been caught out before, and I'll show you in a minute, guys, how I got caught out. I got a first-degree burn on my hand, on the inside of my hand. It took about two months to heal up, and I'll show you exactly how I did it. But look at this, guys. Now, this is just ugly and horrible. That's just like finger meat. Now, what I did when I burnt myself, guys, was I was using a torch like this on a pilot arc machine. And as you may notice, this one here has got the switch on the top. And if you notice here, on this one, it's got the switch on the bottom, but it's also got a switch guard on it like that. See that, guys? So in other words, you can't accidentally turn the machine on. And Pete was in a hurry, you know, he just grabbed a torch. It was like this, guys. The torch I was using was like that. Somehow it was sat on the bench like so. I went to grab it, of course like as you do. My hand grabbed it like that. I accidentally pushed it down on the table, started the machine, got about a first degree burn here, about that round, took about three months to bloody heal up. So the answer to your question, my friends, is no, you can't cut your finger in half, but boy, oh boy, you can do yourself some serious damage. This thing runs at about 5,000 degrees instantly. It's really, really, really hot, and it doesn't take any time to heat up as soon as you hit the button you're at that temperature so you don't get any time to muck around guys so the moral of the story my friends is make sure you get a torch or the bloody trigger guard or not like that i used to think nah 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 you don't need those safety measures pete you're an idiot if you burn yourself well i'll tell you what guys pete's an idiot oh more fried meat Do that guys degree burns in 10 seconds flat. You want to smell it around here, guys. It just smells disgusting. So, my friends, can you cut your finger off with a plasma cutter? Well, if you hold it there for long enough, you're going to do some serious damage. But if you're not expecting it to start, and it starts inside your hand like it did for Pete, you can have all sorts of issues, eh? It, um, yeah, it really gave me a fright, actually. So you just got to watch it and just make sure, like I told you guys, get one with a trigger guard on it, because it makes life so much easier, eh? It saves on accidents. Anyway, guys, that's about it for today. 
you like my videos, remember to subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and come say good day in the comments below if you want. Hey, tell me if you guys have ever burnt yourself with one of these machines. Because <laughs> you don't just get a little burn, you get a humongous burn. Anyway, guys, see you next time. Bye. Peachtools.com.